the Sasser worm uh, affected networks in 2004 and brought down many networks all over the world, much like the MS Blast worm did. And it creates a log file of infected computers in the C directory and also up CPU usage to about 100% at all times, making the computer incredibly slow and almost impossible to use. And it also, it searches for uh, vulnerable IP addresses and to infect, so it should also infect this computer too over here. And when multiple windows are opened on the machine, there are crashes of the lsass.exe process, and the computer basically shuts down over and over. So let's go ahead and run it. You'll see CPU usage skyrockets immediately. There's the Win2 file, win log, win2.log. These are vulnerable IP addresses trying to infect. It hasn't infected the other one yet. As you see, it's maintaining pretty heavy traffic at all times except for now. And we'll see if one of these three variants of sensor that I have will end up infecting the other computer and making it crash as well. Well, YouTube, I wasn't actually expecting it to happen, but this computer was indeed infected with the sasser worm over the LAN. And we should see the LSASS process crash, and then the computer will start shutting down. That's SVC host. It's probably related to the blaster worm. As you can see, everything is taking an incredibly long time to load. An incredibly long time to load. See LSA shell export version, and there's the system shutdown. That one's not it. You can see it's because the LSA process process terminated unexpectedly. And gives you six, 60 seconds to shut down. So in that 60 seconds, we will watch it count down. Oh no! You also see 100% just straight across the board CPU usage running incredibly slowly. 22 seconds to go! And this will continue counting down until it reaches zero, at which point the computer will restart. And this computer is also still running incredibly slowly, 100% CPU usage. And here goes this one. And there goes the computer. And Sasser brought down networks all over the world in 2004. And even I myself was personally hit by this worm. And finally, here is this computer being shut down by the ASS.exe process crashing. And this one's crashing at the same time, so let's just zoom on out and watch both of these here. You can both see they're both initiating the shutdown, this one is about to go here. And there goes this computer. As you can see, it's still trying to find more computers to infect. It won't end because of all these processes. At this rate, this one, which started after the first one is going to shut down first. Yep, there goes that computer.
And that's basically it for the sassaworm.